organizations. We have the Upper Dublin School District, the Upper Dublin Township, Fort Washington Business Alliance, and the Upper Dublin Education Foundation. So let me take a moment to introduce my fellow members on the Metals Planning Committee who represent these organizations. I will ask them to stand and please hold your applause until the end. From the school district, we have Brooke Evans, Steve Yanni, and Art Levinowitz. From the township, we have Kurt Ferguson and Rebecca Lohofer Mahone. From the Fort Washington Business Alliance, we have Nick Dom and Kathy Disk. And from the Education Foundation, <laughs> Michelle Boaz and Heidi Yetzler Overton. I think I can speak for all of us in saying that it's really a privilege to help organize this prestigious event. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> so this event would not be possible without our corporate sponsors. I want to extend a heartfelt appreciation to a number of businesses. Please hold your applause until the end. We have Bulls Smythe Associates, Timothy Knox, Temple University Ambler, Intercontinental Development, Kirkland Printing and Business Solutions, and the Ambler Flower Shop. Their support enables the Education Foundation to continue to enhance the learning opportunities for Upper Dublin students. We're very grateful to our sponsors and for their generous support. So let's please give them a round. Tonight we're going to celebrate some incredible examples of humanity at Upper Dublin's most prestigious award ceremony. This 300 plus year old township is surely something special. It's our community, our businesses, our people. And I'm really grateful to join together for an opportunity to celebrate our own, the very people and the organizations that define us and raise us up. So get ready to be wowed and hopefully inspired, this year's winners embody leadership, service to our community, and excellence. You will soon be a buyer so deserving of this highest recognition in Upper Dublin. So tonight we're gonna to give out five awards. The one for outstanding citizen, one for outstanding nonprofit, one for outstanding educator, and two for outstanding student awards. <laughs> so for the first three categories, candidates are recommended by community members who submit nomination forms. Then there are distinct selection committees who review all of the nominations and then they select a winner for each of those medals. The committees are a pretty broad cross-section of our community. They rep they're representatives from the Board of School Directors, from the Township Board of Commissioners, from parent-teacher groups, from the Education Foundation board members, community members, the Fort Washington Business Alliance members, as well as local business representatives. So that's a pretty broad section of people picking the people who are going to win tonight. Uh, before we present the first award, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all of our previous medal winners. We really treasure this long history of this of this <coughs> program, and we're very grateful uh, for those who have made an impact in Upper Dublin. And you'll notice all the former winners because they are wearing red boutonnieres tonight. So if you look around, there's a lot of them. So I'm going to ask for them to stand. Um, if there are any previous student medalists here with us this evening, or any family members of previous student medalists present, would you please stand? Oh, come on, I know they're <laughs> Thank you for continuing to make a difference. And really, thanks. 
guys for being here tonight. Lastly, but certainly not least, would all of the previous Outstanding Educator winners please stand. <laughs> students, you are inspiring our future, and we are so grateful. Thank you for being here. Congratulations to all of the previous winners of this significant award. And now, let's get started to talk about this year's winners. Um, at this time, I'm going to introduce our first award presenter. Please help me welcome Ticha Sherpier. <laughs> Spaces. And apart from grass, there wasn't much here. And she took action. She collaborated with both the school district and the township and made plans. And for years, Fen had planned, fundraised, fundraised, planted, and weeded, watered, organized, and shared her knowledge with anybody who was interested and wanted to hear. Um, she came in after work and in the weekends throughout all the seasons. And as I always say, and those who know, know me, I've <coughs> heard this before, every cause needs a champion. And Fan is that champion. Yes, she does speak for the trees. <laughs> um, in doing so, she cares for the well being of Upper Dublin and for us, the community. Um, so, Ben, thank you so much for leading by example. You are an inspiration and you truly are an upper dog outstanding citizen. Thank you. Each campus, each backyard, being 
and staff from the center are here today to celebrate with us. We are grateful for you. Now, a long time ago, someone has said, train up a child in the way he should go, and even when he gets old, he will not depart. So it has been a great joy for us to be a part of this process for our children and their families and our community, and we are grateful for this acknowledgement here today. Thank you again. Seven years ago when I was teaching second grade and she was teaching third grade. Uh, we had rooms next to each other that were split by a, a makeshift wall. And it kind of reminds this. I would often, as a DJ, use music and possibly loud <laughs> in my lessons. And Connie would always hear this music playing. Uh, each time I used a song, she would send over two of her third graders <laughs> with a post-it note asking for justification on how that specific song connected to me. <laughs> Which luckily I was always able to do. <laughs> but it never got to the point that was too loud or too much music, she would just throw it bang on the wall. <laughs> the crazy part, it seems like this was yesterday, right? And here we are. I hear them, <laughs> see them. It was almost three decades ago. At times I still need to remind her that I am her boss. <laughs> And she will graciously accept she will graciously accept this. Uh, when we met Connie, I knew there was something special about her. Knowing her as a teacher for 20 years and now as a principal for seven, I can honestly say what she does year after year with her students amazes me. Uh, one thing that Connie does that sets her apart from, from many teachers is that she spends so much time getting to know each student as a learner and as a person. Uh, she not only has the awareness of each student's academic needs, but she knows each student's personal interests. Knowing a child like this allows uh, a teacher to earn their trust, which is very important. Uh, and she gains this trust, allows uh, both the, those kids to thrive both socially and academically in the classroom. There is no stronger advocate for a child than Connie Nitschke. Connie is not a certified school psychologist. Um, she, she thinks she is sometimes. So, <laughs> me, I think this child is gifted. Uh, I think this child will make speeches for it. They need this, they need that, and then we go through the process. Testing is done, and, and she looks right. <laughs> <laughs> if each of you can think back to the one teacher that has made a difference in your life, this is who Connie Nishka is at Fort Washington Elementary. Uh, if you ever had an opportunity to walk into a room, and you would know exactly what I mean, students are lost in learning there. The climate that Connie creates is like nothing I've ever seen before. The expectation she has for all of her students is what impresses me the most. Students leave not only prepared for fourth grade, but more importantly, prepared for life. Uh, things I think of when I think of Connie Nishka, Dunkin' Donuts, Ice Coffee, Green's <laughs> uh, She told me this at a young age, right, when I was in my 20s. Ask forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> Which I do all the time. <laughs> Wax Museums, Embryology, her passion to mentor student teachers and fight for them to get jobs in our building. Her love for her family, her daughter Julia, her son Luke, and her husband Eric are here tonight. Traveling, especially to the beach, her unbelievable, her unbelievable work ethic, thinking of others first. She is constantly bringing food from her home to feed our staff. <laughs> and my children. Kickball, <laughs> sign shows with her beloved Wendy Parkening, her small world parties, her dedication to Ms. Zephyr, her guided reading table Wilbur, her classroom arboretum, and most importantly, her passion to teach children. Two of my own children have had the opportunity to have Connie as their teacher. It is not typical for third graders to cry on the last day of school. They are normally looking forward to summer, heading to the beach, or just getting out of school. Um, that's what happens in Minju, but not in Connie's class. They do not want to leave and truly would stay with her throughout the summer. This is a testament to what she does all day, every day in her classroom. 
Someone once said, in years to come, your students may forget what you taught them. Always remember, but will always remember how you made them feel. This quote rings so true for Connie. The number of former students who come back to visit her at times traveling for many hours is incredible. After 31 years of teaching, it's crazy to think about, right? Connie is still in her prime. If you know her or have ever had the opportunity to watch her teach, you are truly blessed. I feel honored and proud to introduce this year's outstanding educator for the Upper Double Medal, Fort Washington's very own Connie Mitchell. <laughs> I know each and every day how much you value and respect what I do, and um, that means the world, so thank you. I'm so fortunate to have spent 31 years sharing the kindness and generosity of the Upper Dublin community. For those of um, you that don't live here, this is truly a special place. In September of 2021, while we were all still figuring out how it was that we were going to teach during a pandemic, a tornado came through the community and destroyed part of our beloved fort. And there were so many questions and concerns that flooded my mind. Would my students be okay? When would we return to in-person instruction? And what would be left of our classrooms? The Upper Dublin Found Education Foundation took care of that last one. They reached out immediately asking what needed to be replaced, and those items arrived on our doorsteps in record time. I don't know if you can Amazon Prime or what happened there, but it was amazing. Um, and in a time of uncertainty, they did everything that they could to help us, and I will always be so grateful for that support. And it's not just what the Ed Foundation did in the aftermath of the tornado. Our Upper Dublin Education Foundation is actively supporting excellence in education. This nonprofit organization enriches our curriculum by funding innovative learning opportunities for our students, and we are all better educators for it. So thank you, thank you for all that you do. There are so many other reasons tonight why I am grateful. I'm here with you because I love what I do. And it's as simple as that. When each new class walks through the door in September, it's not a question of whether or not I'm going to love them. I will, as though they were my own, because to me, that's the job. Finding out how each child specifically learns and what struggles might create a barrier to their progress and uncovering their talents and celebrating and building on those talents and genuinely being interested in what makes them happy, what makes them sad, anxious, what makes them laugh? What causes their eyes to light up with excitement? These are the basis for the learning that will follow. And I'm so thankful for all of my kids, past and present, for allowing me to truly know them and to become part of their journey. I'd also like to thank our present and past Upper Elevate administrators and staff for making this such a special place to spend my entire teaching career. I really admire my coworkers professionally. We share our ideas, we share our best practices, and we share our concerns. But more than that, together as friends, we celebrate life's milestones. You inspire me every day. In the audience celebrating with me tonight are my friends outside of Upper Dublin and my family. As you heard me tell you often, you guys are rock. <laughs> Thank you for providing the work-life balance that keeps me grounded and smiling. I love each of you so much. To my husband, Eric, and to my kids, Luke and Julia, thank you for lighting up my world. You fill me with joy, and sharing that special gift with others is the reason I'm standing here tonight. I love you. Upper Dublin, we are always stronger together. 
thank you for honoring me as the 39th medal winner tonight. Sincere individuals I have had the pleasure of working with. 
I am constantly in awe of her compassionate attitude she has towards others and her willingness to advocate for them. Her ambition to pursue a career in cellular and molecular biology with an emphasis in pre-medicine at Trinity University is inspired by her relationship with her brother, Zaki, and I cannot think of a better, more inspiring reason to work towards that goal. Sammy is an exceptional role model for others, and I'm convinced that the world is a better place because she is in it. She is one of a kind, of, one of a kind individual, and I consider myself very fortunate to have crossed paths with her. She reminds me of the importance of treating everyone with kindness and respect. Sammy Siegel is one of the best and brightest students at Upper Dillon High School, and offers exceptional promise for her future. I am convinced she will be an extraordinary addition to the field of medicine and genetic counseling one day, and I'm excited for what the future holds for her. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Ms. Samantha Siegel. Several drinks. 
and I feel pretty good. <laughs> However, tonight, knowing that I had to speak in front of the congregation, uh, I'm, I'm basically relatively sober. <laughs> so, and you know what? It's, it's refreshing. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There you go, my <laughs> But speaking, speaking of the word refreshing, speaking of the word refreshing, I think that's a, a great adjective to describe Landon Coleman. Why refreshing? Clearly, Landon is a stellar student with numerous academic achievements to his name. But in this day and age, when the Many students just want to regurgitate information and look for that recipe for the A grade. Landon is the opposite. Um, he actually has an intrinsic thirst for learning, and he has a sincere desire for comprehension. There are numerous occasions where Landon would stay after class with me and ask really insightful clarifying questions. He was never reluctant to make me work harder to explain <laughs> difficult concepts. And that is refreshing. Um, but in my opinion, the medal award is less about his list of superb academics and more of a testament to who he is as a person. Um, he is kind and respectful. He is a hard worker. He's responsible, he's a team player, but he owns, he owns his own actions. He is calm, he's level-headed, he's rather reserved. Um, he's unassuming, he's humble, and he doesn't disparage others. That are refreshing characteristics. Um, so last year, at this time, Landon had to decide what courses he was gonna take for his senior year. And I met with him, and I said, you know what, I, I think you should take AP Physics. I know the guy who teaches that. <laughs> and, and Len said, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. So I, he said, my mom doesn't want me to take it. <laughs> well, I'm glad he didn't listen to his mom. <laughs> Opportunity to truly experience Landon the person, and I am better for it. <clears throat> and it gives me hope for the future, and that is really refreshing. So I wish him well as he's going off to pursue mechanical engineering at Texas A&M University. And without further ado, I give you this year's male recipient of the UD Medal. Thank you very much. I'm really honored to receive this prestigious award. I would like to congratulate Sammy, Nelly, Mimi, Ben, and Samir. You're all great people and who have accomplished so much and made a big impact in our school. I would like to thank God for his faithfulness, my parents for their love and support, and my six sisters for their advice. and sometimes on school. I would also like to thank the Township, School District, Fort Washington Business Alliance, and the UD Education Foundation for their work in the community and support of the students of Upper Dublin. When I reflect on my time in Upper Dublin, I think back to my days at Sandy Road Middle School. When middle school students would do anything bad, like mess around or play video games during class, the teacher would say, this is not an applying high school. But I found that a lot of this stuff did indeed apply in high school. <laughs> yes, not many of the students continued that behavior. What changed was that our teachers empowered us to see the real life consequences of our actions. We chose to focus in class and do our homework every night not because of the fear of getting yelled at or losing the end of the year pizza party, but because we wanted to invest in ourselves and actually learn. 
Our teachers gave us the tools to be great, and they challenged us with the opportunities to use these tools to achieve personal goals. These goals didn't necessarily look the same for everyone, but every teacher worked to develop our character and see how we could succeed. For instance, my top one teacher, Mr. Trailer, cared so much about our understanding of the material that he went through every line of our homework problems. Although I get annoyed when I lose five one hundredths of a point on the homework assignment, <laughs> I'm still forgetting that plus C after an interval. He taught me the importance of details, and I really respected his work ethic and commitment to his students. Mr. Vander demonstrated the importance of listening to and respecting others' opinions. He actually wanted to hear and discuss our thoughts and ideas. He made us laugh and created an environment where we learned how to think, not what to think. My college teacher, Mrs. Lynn, challenged us not only with very difficult material, but also taught us about grit and maintaining integrity, no matter what the circumstances were, even if that meant getting 70 years on one of the tests. <laughs> Mr. Sample had challenged us by setting high expectations. He never got any, any slack for being too lazy or too busy, but he was fair and fun to be around. His passion for the subject of physics pushed everyone to their academic limits, and gave me a drive and desire to learn more. Finally, my guidance counselor, Mrs. Hopkins, showed me how to advocate for myself. Last year, I made a game-winning catch in, of all places, gym class. <laughs> I ended up with a concussion that lasted for three months. <laughs> I never struggled with anything like that before, and even though I wasn't comfortable with it, she taught me how to communicate to my teachers and seek the help and accommodations I needed. These teachers and many others, including my coaches and club leaders, have made a huge impact on my life. They haven't just prepared me academically, they've taught me the importance of developing relationships, having integrity, and how to face challenges. I'm very grateful for the opportunities I've been given in Upper Dublin, and I'm very honored to receive this award. Thank you.